What's going on guys? Hey, I'm doing a little mushroom hunt today and I came across a Berkeley's polypore and I thought I'd share it with you. So if you're interested in that, stick around. Okay, there it is. Look at this guy. Very cool mushroom. It is an edible mushroom, which is awesome. Uh, however, they're not choice by any stretch of the imagination. This mushroom can be quite bitter too, so, you know, as far as taste goes, um, I, I just don't fool with them that much. I mean, I, I've heard of people who do, and, and they actually like it, but um, I'm just not a fan. Uh, if we get in here and we take a look, you can see this guy's super, very thick through here, very meaty, meaty type of mushroom. Now, the whole mushroom is not edible. If you're going to eat anything, it's definitely going to be, you want to go after these young young fronds right through here. Just going to cut that part off, a little, similar to Chicken of the Woods. Um, but yeah, certainly not going to take this whole thing. We wouldn't do that. Uh, it's growing. Looks like it's growing out of the ground. Uh, it's really not. It's coming uh, off of this oak tree right here. And this is a parasitic. Uh, mushroom so um, it's not saprophytic it's not breaking down something that's already dead it's actually uh, trying to kill this guy this uh, oak tree right here so uh, parasitic mushroom notice how it kind of grows in a rosette type of uh, situation although you can find them a little uh, shelfy so to speak um, this one's got a massive rosette going through here and then all of these little shelf like clusters coming off very cool these guys can get tremendous in size i mean i've seen them as big as three feet wide it's a they're pretty awesome uh awesome mushroom they're 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 uh get extremely large now obviously this is a polypore with the name berkeley's polypore no gills on the bottom side beautiful though fantastic i found these guys before with pools of water sitting down in here i mean it's very very hard yeah, very cool. Gotta like it. All right, so let's um, let's let's cut off just a little bit right here. See how fresh this guy is, if at all. Very tough, very chitiny mushroom, full of chitin. Broke. Let's see. Look at that. This mushroom really, in my opinion, looks a lot like the black staining polypore. However, um. You know, no staining black, even if we give it enough time, it will not stain black at all. Very meaty though, very, very meaty mushroom. Certainly looks more like, uh, you know, a black staining polypore than chicken of the woods or something like that. This is the part you would eat right here. Again, you start getting into the back of this mushroom, similar to chicken of the woods, except more extreme. This is a really tough mushroom. I mean, just tapping it right there, the whole mushroom shakes, so you can see how stiff it is. But certainly not choice as far as edibility goes. Uh, probably more of a survival type mushroom, but still, nonetheless, very cool, uh, beautiful. Also, you can find this mushroom anywhere i mean it is in asia it's in europe it's in uh, africa it's in north america obviously uh, and i believe even south america i'm not 100 percent sure about that but uh definitely a very widely spread mushroom you can find it anywhere now as far as time of year uh typically in my neck of the woods i tend to find them really spring through fall so they show up uh a little more abundant, I would say, in spring for me, when the weather's a little bit cooler. I don't find too many in the fall, but every now and then. If you look close too, you can you can see how those pores on part of this mushroom has opened right up. Look at that right there. Whoops, right there. Very cool. And on the back side over here. Oh yeah. Look at that. Pores have opened right up. However, as this mushroom continues to grow, let's take the one, well, that's a little dirty, but let's take the one I just cut there a second ago. If we look, the pores are open uh, right here, but in this, in this band right here, they're super, super tight, which I think is pretty cool. So as it continues to grow, the pores, these pores are closed and those are open. Very cool. Let's see if I can get a good 
shot of that. Yeah, check that out. That's awesome. Cool mushroom. And look at the color of this right in here in the interior, right in here. Notice how much darker that is? Well, as this mushroom ages, that darkness will continue to come right on out and it'll take over basically the mushroom. It will change colors on you. So obviously when it's younger, kind of like this, this is a mid-stage, I would say, uh, it's a lot lighter, more like these ends right through here. But I, honestly, look at that. It really does look like the black staining polypore, but again, right there where we broke it, it is still just solid white right through there. So no staining here, definitely a Berkeley polypore, very cool. You know, for me at times, you know, I tend to over harvest or I feel like, it's probably a better way of putting it. I feel like I over harvest sometimes. I feel like I, I don't leave enough to reproduce and get out there. So I try to be mindful of that, you know, just because I run into something that is edible doesn't mean I need to harvest it and take it back to the house. And you know, uh, although that's fun, don't get me wrong, but uh, um, I don't know. It, it, there's a time and a place, you know, some of these guys have got to let it go spore and reproduce and do what they do. In this case, thinning out these, uh, these, these oak trees, um, you know, chicken of the woods, uh, more of a, uh, is a saprophytic, it can act as a parasitic, but primarily a saprophytic mushroom that breaks down each, all these mushrooms have jobs for the most part. And, uh, I guess, uh, you know, it's good to be mindful and let them do their job. This is still a super cool mushroom though, man. Very cool, love the way it looks. I mean, it's just wonderful. These guys can get tremendous in size. You know, I mentioned like three feet wide and uh, roughly anywhere from, you know, 70 to 85 pounds worth of mushroom in one location. That is just amazing. Typically though, they're really going to be more along the lines of, you know, 10, 15, 20 pounds, maybe even 40 pounds, but they can get tremendously large. You know, 70 pounds is probably not uncommon, uh, but typical, typical is going to be, you know, specimens like this or, you know, a little bit larger. The Berkeley's polypore, how awesome is that? Hey man, slap that like button. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll talk to you.